Hi guys, I just got back from Walmart and I wanted to do a review because I saw a new foundation there. Um, I don't know if it's like completely new, but I saw this foundation from Fit Me. It's Maybelline's Fit Me foundation, but it's in stick form, which is super cool. And it says it's shine free. So that's awesome too because in the summer you get really shiny. So I'm going to do a first impression on this foundation. My color is 355 and I just looked at my other one and it's 320. But I think I've gotten... I just dropped my glasses. Um, I think I've gotten darker since I've moved to Arizona. And so I'm going to try out this foundation. And... I also saw other things at Walmart. I know I'm going to do a review on these later or not so much a review, but like um, show you how they look. I found these, um, the limited edition, I think it's the electronic one. I forgot what the line is, but I got the yellow one. I got a green one and then I got the pink one and I also got the orange one like these colors are super like crazy i think so i'm excited to try these but i'll do a vi uh, another video on that and then i got um this lipstick which i'm going to wear today it's an orange lipstick it's called electric orange you'll see it on my lips and then i got the clean whipped foundation from covergirl and i'll do if you guys want to see a review on this but i've seen a lot of people do a review but I may do a review on this foundation as well. Okay, I'm going to open it right now. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, don't mind my messy bed. My cat is, like, in, like, that ball of covers. And I didn't want to interrupt him. So just don't mind that. Okay. So this is how much foundation you get, which is not a lot at all. It's about 6 I think it was $6. So that's, like nothing this is nothing hopefully a little goes a long way because that's not even as big as my finger so that's not good i'm not sure how you put it on because there's no like uh directions but i think i'm just gonna use my fingers okay so i'm gonna put it on this side of my face first So I just put it on my face and then put some up here. It feels good going on. I've always wanted to try stick foundation and that's what it looks like right now. So I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. I don't know if this is enough. feels like a powder right now okay I have it on half of my face now this stuff feels like a powder I don't know if this is the foundation that's the cream to powder but it definitely feels like a powder now which I kind of like um because I don't like when foundation feels greasy and oily like you slapped some oil on your face so now I have the foundation completely all over my face now um I hope you can tell that I have foundation on, but I guess it looks really natural, like, because right now it feels like I'm not wearing foundation at all. I don't know if you can tell or not that I have it on. I like that it's, um, I kind of like the way you put on stick. It's less messy. You just like, you know, it's like a crayon, a big crayon you put all over your face which is pretty cool to me and I guess a little goes a long way because I use like a few streaks over here a few streaks over here a few on my forehead a few on my chin and then down my neck and then that was it which sounds like a lot actually but it feels like it's a cream to powder thing because I think a lot of uh found like a lot of drugstore people are going from that powdery feel right now because I know that the who was it L'Oreal or Revlon has, I think it was L'Oreal, has that magic liquid to powder foundation, which they don't have my color because I was going to try that out because I tested it on my finger and it felt really good, but it was like, my hand looked ashy white. But 
the test is how long it lasts I'm gonna do my makeup really fast and then I'm going to test the longevity of it all okay I put on all my makeup now and I'm trying out this um, the new lipstick too so let me know what you guys think of orange lipsticks because I think it looks pretty good because I know that I don't look good in red lipsticks but uh, I think I said this in the beginning it's electronic orange and it looks like this in the tube it looks freaking scary but I don't think it looks that bad but anyways so this is how my face looks right now I just can't tell that I have foundation on does that mean that the color is perfect for me um but I'm gonna see how long this foundation lasts even if you can't really tell that it's on hopefully you guys can tell but anyways it's almost three o'clock I'll just say it's three o'clock I don't know if you can see the time it says 258 but I'm gonna leave it on for I don't know how long because I'm going to run some errands show however long that takes and then I'll come back and show you how my foundation is still on and I'm going outside by the way and it's um right now it's a hundred why is it so right 103 degrees so if I'm not shiny after going out there then this foundation will be amazing because I tend to sweat because it's so hot and the car is going to be blazing hot so we're gonna see if this actually is shine free like it says so I'll be back when I'm done running errands okay I am back I think I'm gonna put my hair down it was just really 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 hot outside I'm together now all right it is 420 right now um, so it's been like an hour and 20 minutes, I think, because I left at 3 o'clock. So it wasn't that long, actually. I thought it would be longer than that. Um, I got done with errands quickly. I went to the grocery store. Nothing super exciting and the gas station. But anyways, now, what I think about this foundation. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like in outdoor lighting. So I wanted to show you what the foundation looked like outside and this is what it looks like. I'm probably sweating because it's like freaking hot. I, yeah. I think that this foundation is super sheer. It's like a powder. I must say that it is shine free. I don't look shiny. I do have bronzer on if you see like shininess it's because I have the Amon bronzer and this has some sparkle in it I just wanted to look bronzy the middle is the anti shine core and then around is the foundation so uh, I think that this is kind of a cool invention I just wish the coverage was better because you can see like all my imperfections on my face um, it seems like it didn't really cover anything. It just looks very, very natural, I must say. So the only downfall is that it should have more coverage, but I'm not sure because I should probably add more next time. So like if I wear, when, when I wear this foundation again and I use more of it, I'll tell you how it is like in a later video. I couldn't wait so I put another layer on my face and I still think that it looks pretty sheer. I just I just wish it gave me full coverage. It doesn't do that which completely sucks. I had to bring it down to my decollete because my face looked like a mask so I brought it down some. But yeah I added like another layer on it if you can tell. And I think, I feel like people are going to get better coverage from it and I don't know what I'm doing. I just feel like it just absorbs. Like, uh, when I put it on with my fingers, it absorbed. When I put it on with the sponge, it absorbed so much of it. Um, but overall, it's an okay foundation if you don't like the, like, feel of foundation and, like, you want a sheer um, coverage. Like, it's not that 
crazy coverage it just it's just light coverage so that's it for my first impression i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video see ya